What's up rock stars? Today I want to talk to you guys about taking control of your own life and focusing on the things that we can control and not on the things that we cannot. Let's go. Oh shit! What's up guys, my name is Sam Becker and if you are new to this channel, please go ahead and consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications where I put out content related to how to build a better mindset to give yourself confidence so you can live a more productive, happy life. So, in preparation for today's video, I actually remembered something that I learned a while back that I thought fit perfectly in today's video. It's called the sphere of choice, which was actually introduced to us by a Stoic philosopher named Epictetus. I think I'm saying that right. Epictetus? 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 Cactus? If you are unfamiliar with the sphere of choice like I was when I first came across it or first heard of it, it's basically to help you make the distinction between the things that we can control versus the things that we cannot. So we have our internals, the things that we can control, like our character, our values, our mannerisms, actions, beliefs, etc. And we have the externals, right? The things that we cannot control. So things like the past and the world and the thoughts and actions of others, right? Those are the things that we cannot control. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? Then why, oh why, do we tend to allow ourselves to get worked up over the things that we can't control? Why? Why, I ask you? No, I'm asking you why though. I really want, I really want to know because I, I, don't, I don't know. We hold on to things for far too long sometimes and where does that usually end us up at? Nowhere. We can't control whether someone is wealthier, prettier, or happier than we are, okay? But we can control how we act and how we choose to spend our days. We have more control over our own lives than we tend to remember because sometimes we get caught up worrying about all the things that we can't control instead. You know, I'm guilty of it, you're guilty of it, we're all guilty of it. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Don't lie. But you know what? There is no value in worrying about the things that we can't control. We're actually wasting energy thinking about the things that we cannot influence. Okay, it doesn't get us anywhere. So my advice to you guys is this. Focus on the areas of your life that you can control. The areas of your life that you may not necessarily be the happiest in, but you can make positive changes happen. So what can you do to make these positive changes happen? You know, what rules can you put in place for yourself so that you can make sure that things start going your way? And I'm telling you, once I stopped worrying so much about what others were doing, I swear I felt like I had more energy to focus on the areas of my life that I felt needed improving, you know, and I almost instantly started seeing the changes that I wanted for myself happen. So I promise when you start focusing on things that you can control and letting go of all the crap that you can't control, good things are gonna happen. So just remember, external things are out of our control. Okay, they're out, just get, just get rid of them. You can't even, don't touch them. So here's, here's a bag full of external things. And we're just gonna walk around and we're gonna swing it into the air and we're gonna get rid of it because we can't control it anyway, right? We can't control the past, we can't control the weather, we can't control others. No matter how hard we try to, and we try to focus our, our force, Star Wars, on everything, trying to make sure things get controlled, <laughs> not gonna happen. All we can do is take control of our own life and take it where we want it to go. So do exactly that, you know, take control of your life, and take it where you want it to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all of the above. I appreciate it very much, and I'll see you guys next week.